Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to work with Total Slack in Microsoft Project. Okay, so the Total, total Slack means the free day or the delay days between each task beyond the critical path in your project plan. Okay, let me open Microsoft Project and I will show you an example for more detail. Okay, let's get started now. And this is a project plan I will show you in this demonstration today. Okay, you see here we have six tasks, and the duration of task one will be five day, task two six day, three eight day, four e ten, five e fifteen, and six e twelve. Okay, and then firstly, before start to identify the total select for each task, we need to identify the critical path in this project. Okay, so. In order to see the critical path, I will open the formats on the ribbon menus. Okay. And then in the bar style section, I will check in the critical task option here. When I check on when I check in this one, the critical path will be showing in the red color. Yeah. Okay. So you see here on the gun chart, we have task number five will be in the red color. Other one, other ref is still in blue color. So that okay. So here, when you see the red color, you know that the critical path will be the longest, longest lines in this in the project plan. Okay, it will be taking a uh, fifty days in the project, and other task will be taking the the duration is less than fifteen days. Okay. So here we have a 13, 15 days in this project. And taking a look into the task number five. Okay. You see here, this task is, we have the starting, starting date will be the same for Shikta. Okay. It will be starting on Monday. Okay. Monday, 12 October, 2020. Okay. So here. I set the, the, the second step. I will uh, create a new column. Add new column here in this project plan. Insert column. And I will display the total select. Okay. And you know the total select means the delay time between between each task in the project plan. Okay. It will be based on the theoretical path in the project. So, for example, for the task number one, yeah, it will have the total select in 10 days, yeah, because the theoretical path will be task five, will be taking around 15 days, yeah, so the task one have the duration in five days, it will be minus the 10 days will be equal 15 days, okay, so that means the task one can be delayed around 10 days, yeah, so if we, uh, so if we can finish the that one in around more 10 days, so it does not impact into the project timeline. As why, if we stand on more day, for example, in 11 days to finish that number one, so it will be impact into the critical path in the project. Okay. So the same same thing for that number two. Yeah. It will be nine days. Yeah. Seven day, five day. And zero day, okay. So that means the total select of the task on the critical bus will be zero day, okay. Keep in mind that zero day for the total select on the critical bus, and the same for task number six, it will be three day, okay. So if I going ahead to add some that relationship between each task in this project, so the critical bus will be changed, for example. Let me add some the, the relationship for task number four and, and number three. Okay. Yeah, okay. So you see now the red color will be changed for uh, from the task number five to task number three and four. Yeah. Because you see here the duration of task number four at, at three and four will be the eighteen. Yeah. So 18 will be longest line in this project. 
that means it will be become the critical pass in this project in this uh, only task number five the same be as uh, before okay so when we change this one to the uh, it will be also when task number three and four become the critical task on on, on on this project so the delay time the total strike for each task in this project will be changed as well okay so you see here the task number one have bef uh, before we change uh, before we add some the relationship for task number three and four it has the total strike in 10 days but for now it have the th 30 day 13 day okay the same thing for task number two it is 12 day okay and that number three and four for our total select will be the zero day. That number five half zero day before, but now it has the total select is three day. Okay. The same thing for task six. For now the total select will be six days. Okay. So in case we have another values for the total select, uh, this one is positive. Okay. Positive mean it will be I think it will be okay. We have not, not no issue, but in other case, if we have the total select value is negative value, that mean that mean for example it equal uh, minus uh thirteen. So that means the project is mid calculated uh, because there are some constraint or some this line in 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 this project or uh, even when we have the total select it is a large positive value yeah it means this will be probably missing some the relationship between it us in this project okay so i hope this video will have fun for you if you have any question please comment into the into, into this video so i will try to answer you as soon as possible okay thank you for watching bye bye and see you later in other video